what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we gotta talk about this one Big E breaks his next wwe superstars react hulk hogan and finish is finished and uh other wrestling news man um i just want to send a uh, a prayer and get well wishes to uh Big E, man what he suffered was definitely terrible would not wish that on anybody and it's just one of those things where it's it's part of the part of the sport of wrestling sometimes accidents happen injuries do happen um and this is why you know this shouldn't be tried at home by anybody this should be only be this should only be done by professionals and even then sometimes being a professional still things can happen man so prayers go out to him we're gonna check this video out man appreciate all the love and support and uh let's get right into this bad boy man on no, guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. And what shocks and surprises can fans expect on the SmackDown as the WWE prepares for WrestleMania 38? Join us now as we look at this week's edition of the Blue Brand, as well as the wildest wrestling news and rumors you need to know, including Biggie suffers a broken neck, Johnny Knoxville doxed Sami Zayn, the wrestling world reacts to Biggie's injury, Hulk Hogan is finished, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos, and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Now, as always, we'll won't recap the matches but just look at the good the bad and the downright ugly as always we start off with the good is number one tag team turmoil building up to the women's division is the wwe's women's division a wreck well, we all know the answer to that as the wwe has ignored its singles division with the exception of a less than a handful of stars while dismantling its already weak tag division while we feel the WWE is underutilizing its many single stars, it is refreshing to see the company take these performers, putting them into tank teams so they have something to do other than to job to Becky Lynch or Charlotte Flair. Mm. It's by no means the best thing to do with its talent, but if no. the WWE treats it as more than a stopgap measure, it's a good way to work the women into more matches and eventually back into singles bout. Number 2. Rousey honors Kurt Angle Ronda Rousey has a new weapon in her arsenal, the mm. ankle lock, and it's a great move on both her and the WWE's part. It was great to see Rousey honor another WWE legend by adding the hole to her repertoire. A Rousey has plenty of moves at her disposal, but it never hurts to incorporate more into her moveset and it's a sign that Rowdy Ronda is resting on her laurels and in fact, honing her craft. Number 3. New Challenges for the I Usos mean Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boone. Let me uh, get into that. I think it's cool. Yeah, she's using the ankle lock or whatnot. Does this really still excite me about her feud with uh, Becky? Uh, not Becky. Uh, that's what we wanted. Uh, her feud with Charlotte Flair. Um, it doesn't, I guess you could say, excite me still, even with their little brawl they had. I'm just, I'm kind of, once again, still indifferent. I don't think the match will be as good as uh probably wwe management thinks it will be but you never know we could be surprised who knows but i'm just not still that invested Books are the new number one contenders for the smackdown tag team titles with wrestlemania 38 around the corner it's nice to see the usos get a fresh start of challenges after demolishing every team on the blue brand's roster but that being said jay and jimmy have held the smackdown tag team championship since last july's money in the bank pay-per-view and it may be time. time for new champions the only question is whether the team of shinsuke and rick Boos is the best team to append them after the usos have thwarted the efforts of the mysterios the new day and the viking raiders number everybody. four ricochet wins and it's not a fluke win. And Ricochet is a new Intercontinental Champion, and while fans are still adjusting to the idea of the perennial loser holding a championship, yeah. his win over former champion Sami Zayn last night suggests his title win last week wasn't a fluke and that Ricochet's career may be set for a sustained push. It's Hopefully. far too early to tell, but last Hopefully. night's win was definitely a move in the right direction. Fans of Ricochet know that he can deliver the goods in the ring, and the Intercontinental Championship could be the vehicle that takes Ricochet out of the lower card and into the upper card. Please, and keeping... uh, please, please, please continue to push Ricochet. He is one of the best I have ever seen in WWE. They just don't book him like that, but I'm glad they are now. Please continue that momentum. He needs to hold the Intercontinental Championship so he can... Potentially, it could catapult him to something bigger. Things fresh with Brock. It was Brock Lesnar's appearance on SmackDown a bit underwhelming? Well, yeah, but we applaud the WWE for its restraint. After all, fans are used to Brock Lesnar F5-ing everyone in sight, and mm -hmm. the WWE champion has plenty of reasons to want to destroy people after the bloodline left him a bloody mess at MSG. 
It's safe to say that the fans wanted to see Lesnar get his hands on the bloodline or even tribal council Paul Heyman, but alas he didn't, and that's the point. The WWE doesn't want to give Lesnar a chance to get much, if any, revenge on the bloodline until WrestleMania. It's also important that the WWE pace things out so that it means something when Brock does get his hands on an opponent. Mm -hmm. It may be hard to believe, but having Lesnar come out every week and destroy opponents can get a little tiresome. But that was a good. What about the bad? Is number one. They're building up. It's a slow build. I mean, they still have a few weeks left. They don't have to rush into it, you know? He's going to get his hands on them. But ultimately, it's not going to matter because Roman will become <laughs> the WWE champion as well, retain the Universal Championship. But it's just a good way to build up the story. Lazy booking. Are the Viking Raiders beaten down backstage? Hmm. That sounds eerily familiar, and watching the team of Happy Corbin, Mad Cat Moss, and Jinder Mahal take out Eric and Ivar has a saying it's deja vu all over again. The WWE's booking of the Viking Raiders is not only atrocious, but it's more evidence of lazy booking. Mm -hmm. Does the WWE's creative team spin a wheel to determine what angle will play out? If so, it's time to take backstage ambushes off the wheel so creative can come up with a different way to bury a team. <laughs> well, that was a bad, what about the downright ugly yes. as Butch? Now, we're not talking about Butcher the Bushwhackers, but the WWE's rechristening of NXT superstar Pete Dunne into Butch, which was downright ugly. Mm -hmm. Now, there's lazy booking, and then there's crazy booking, as the WWE's new name for Pete Dunne has fans laughing or just groaning. Although I'm sorry, man. I know some of you guys were like, oh, this is part of his new gimmick. Give it a chance. Bro, you could have still had him be that same character. Maybe he just kept the name. He's been known as Pete Dunn. People knew him as Pete Dunn. He's been Pete Dunn for the last few years. That's why it's it just doesn't make sense to change it, bro. You can switch up the character but keep the name. The name is people know, recognize the name. That's all I'm saying. One of the longest UK champions, longest UK title reigns, Outside of Walter was Pete Dunne. Dude was known for manipulating joints. He's known for manipulating joints. That's his gimmick. He is the bruiser weight. He'll beat the crap out of you. Hey, man. That's WWE for you. Although the WWE has done worse in renaming superstars, let's not forget Dewdrop. Why was this name just so random? Was it a tribute to WWE legend Butch Reed, Bushwhacker Butch, or Vince McMahon's outdated idea of what a tough name sounds like? What'd you guys think of SmackDown last mm. night? Let us know in the comments down below. Now let's move on to the news. Our first story looks at Biggie suffers a broken neck. A top of the news today is an update on Biggie's condition following the devastating belly to belly he took outside the ring during the New Day's match against Sheamus and Ridge Holland. Now, in case you missed it, Holland and Biggie brawled to the outside during their tag team bout, with Holland appearing to botch a belly to belly suplex on Biggie, causing the big man to land right on his head. Biggie was then stretched out of the arena, leading to concerns over his condition. He was taken to a hospital where he tweeted a video updating his many fans on his condition. I can't thank all of you beautiful people enough for all of your concern and your messages. It's very heartwarming. Uh, I can move all my digits. Which is awesome. That? That's nice. That's always a good thing. Um, strength feels fine. But unfortunately, uh, right now, they tell me my neck is broken. So there's that. But uh, once again, thank you, everybody. I'm going to be all right. I'll be good. Don't worry. Go to sleep. Don't worry about all me. But uh, for real, thank you. And uh, I appreciate all of you. For real. So uh, I got some really good news, uh, all things considered. Uh, the C1 and C6 are indeed fractured, not displacement though, which is uh, a very good thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't have any damage to my spinal cord, no ligament damage, and no surgery, which I'm very thankful for. And a pro tip, if you're gonna break your neck, do it in Birmingham. <laughs> They've been great. Everyone here at UAB has been great. Um, but for real, um, it's meant a ton to me that so many of you have been so kind and reached out, stopped in to see me, texted me. I know I feel like I sound like a broken record, but I am very grateful and uh, I'm gonna be all right. That's a blessing, man. That is truly a blessing. Um, once again, like I said at the beginning of this video, get well, Biggie. We're sending, I know I'm sending 
Uh, my prayers your way. I know you guys will as well. This is one of those things where it's like it's not about the wrestling. It's about making sure the individual, the person himself, uh, you know, is they get back to a speedy recovery, man. And once again, like I said at the beginning of this video, wrestling is no joke. You can be a professional. You can be a seasoned vet and something just goes wrong, you know. And I don't want people to blame Ridge Holland and blame him trying to get him fired. I know some people are doing that. Don't do that, man. This was an honest mistake. I know he didn't mean for this to happen. Injuries happen. That's just what it is. It's a part of wrestling. You feel me? And no one should be out there trying to get this man fired. It'd be different if he had a history of just doing this. But I don't think he has a history of injuring people. And I'm pretty sure Big E doesn't, you know, you know, doesn't have that type of energy towards him. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he knows it was an accident. So please refrain from doing that. That's that's not going to help the situation, man. Just, you know, I pray for Big E for a speedy recovery and hope to see him back soon, man. Rest of the is. Seriously, even after breaking his neck, he's still positive. That's incredible. While it's too early to tell if Holland accidentally injuring Biggie will have any backstage ramifications, one has to wonder why the WWE would put one of its most popular stars at risk with a move that requires strength and balance to pull mm -hmm. off. The WWE also needs to ask if it's necessary to feature spots like this on television. Like many fans and wrestlers, we send our well wishes to Biggie for a fast and full recovery. But what about the wrestling world? How did they react to Biggie's injury? Now his injury led to an outpouring of support for the former WWE Champion as it's no secret Big E is a beloved figure on camera and behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Here are just some of the messages of support for Big E. FTR's Dax Harwood took to Twitter to say, I love you dude. Natalia tweeted, we love you so much Big E, keeping you in my prayers. We all got your back, you're one of the toughest human beings I know. Raw mm -hmm. Women's Champion Becky Lynch tweeted, one of the best humans in the world. I'm hoping you've been keeping it a secret that you have a Wolverine-esque healing powers. Thinking of you, love you Biggie. Bailey just tweeted a heart emoji and a prayer emoji, while WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley tweeted, just heard about Biggie, actively saying my prayers, wishing, hoping and praying for a full and complete recovery for this amazing man. As fans know, Biggie's respected throughout the wrestling community, which mm -hmm. includes rival promotion AEW. This is true. AEW star powerhouse Hobbs tweeted, Rest and heal up. He knows I'll rock with you, bruh. While Miro tweeted, Speedy recovery, you tour. Five Falls Sean Ross Sapp even tweeted that Ridge Holland did check on Biggie in the hospital. He tweeted, Ridge Holland visited Biggie in the hospital to check on him last night. Several members of the roster also joined. Biggie is a beloved fella. And this is why I'm saying, man, he went to go check on the guy. He clearly cares. Biggie is beloved by many people in the wrestling community. And it's cool to see other people from other promotions sending him love and prayer. This is how the wrestling community should be. Outside of the back and forth we have with AEW and WWE, to see someone put that aside and care for someone, an individual of the opposite company, that's, all, that's what I love to see, man. I love to see that type of camaraderie with the wrestling community and i've been seeing it it sucks that it took an injury of this magnitude to bring that out but people you know are setting aside their their differences for what company they prefer they prefer and recognizing this is a real human being suffering or you know went through a real situation a serious situation and just sending their prayers and loves i you know it's, it's beautiful as fans know, it's considered good form for wrestlers to check on an injured opponent, especially if they accidentally injure them, as Holland did. Next up, Biggie's WrestleMania plans now in doubt. Oh, and Biggie's yeah. broken neck means that the New Day Strongman may be out of WrestleMania 38. However, what did the WWE have planned for Biggie at this year's show of shows? Well, according to Fightful Select, the WWE wanted to book Kofi Kingston, King Woods, and Biggie against Sheamus, Ridge Holland, and Butch. Naturally, Biggie's health is more important than a match, and the best thing he can do is take the time he needs to recover yep. from the injuries. So when he does return, he's fully healed. Yep. Next up, Sami Zayn gets doxxed. Now, no rest for Sami Zayn as Jackass star Johnny Knoxville's current campaign to make life miserable for his WrestleMania 38 opponent continues, this time with Knoxville revealing Zayn's mobile number. Wow. Knoxville posted a video of his latest stunt, which saw a plane flying a banner with Sami's phone number. According to TMZ, Knoxville revealed, 
So yesterday, Sami Zayn got my personal phone number and was texting and stalking me all day. So today for my birthday, I'm flying his phone number over Los Angeles, 407-574-1532. See you at WrestleMania, schnookums. I did not want to surprise Zayn was wow. flooded with phone calls and messages from fans who took advantage of the chance to let Zayn know what they think of him. Zayn tweeted his dismay. Did you guys text Sammy? Let us know in the comments down below. Okay. And finally, Hulk Hogan. I was trying to get the reference of that. I saw the clip of Sami Zayn showing people just blowing his phone up. That's funny. That is funny how they're introducing real life situations right now. That's funny, bro. <laughs> that is so funny, bro. He doxed him. Even though it's technically illegal. But he doxed him to promote a feud. Do I still care about the feud? No. I don't care about this feud. It was, should have been a one and done situation, but they're extending it to fucking WrestleMania. I, I don't care, but I will say this is actually funny, bro. That's that's mad funny. Hogan says he's finished. And last but not least, a bad news for Hulkamaniacs everywhere as Hulk Hogan is announcing he's finally done in the ring. The Hulkster discussed his physical condition during an appearance on the two man Power Trip Wrestling podcast, saying, no, I mean the last 10 years, I've had 23 surgeries. Damn! You know, 10 back surgeries, both hips, both knees, forget it. The Hulkster didn't mention who he'd want to wrestle if he was capable of an in-ring return. The first one I'm trying to pick off would be Roman. Mm. Roman, you know, then I'd like to get to Brock, but good God, I'd be in a wheelchair by the time I get done with that. Now you may recall past speculation that Hogan might return to the WWE for at least one WrestleMania appearance by competing and winning the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Should he risk it? Let us know no. in the comments down below. <laughs> no, the dude had how many surgeries? Like 20 something surgeries in 10 years? Both hips? Multiple backs? No. Would it be cool to have a legend like Hulk Hogan go for Roman Reigns and the what Roman Reigns is now? Fuck yeah, that would be cool if he could do it. But no, bro. Let it let it go. Your body is way more important. He's made his legacy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know who Hulk Hogan is. No. Let it go. Let it go, bro. Mm-mm. Let's just, just let it go. <laughs> but, hey, man. Comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this week's SmackDown? Are you looking forward to WrestleMania still? Has, has the hype for WrestleMania increased for you or... Or is it still kind of lukewarm or do you not really care? Let me know, man. I want to get your thoughts and opinions on that. And uh, uh, once again, before I end this video, I'm sending my thoughts and prayers with you, Biggie. I know yeah, everyone that's, you know, rocks with me and subscribe to the channel. They're also going to send their thoughts and prayers to you, man. Uh, I'm sure you'll probably not see this video, but just know we appreciate all you do for the business. We're wishing you a speedy recovery and uh, we love you, man. So... But I appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.